All right, here's my take on the um, wave particle duality of um, photons. What they're not taking into account is the spinning nature of electromagnetic forces and the negative spinning particles. They, so in other words, your quantum states are here. Now I know black is, is I'm saying it's going to be a rainbow from your very tightly spinning particles out to your, you know, less energetic particles out to your reds and so forth. So in, the, in here is going to be your um, violet and, and that type of stuff and then it would come out till you finally ended up with your real red and less energetic stuff. So the most energetic is here and that is obvious. They're all the same particle. So you're, they're, let's say they're, uh, uh, they all have a, a value of one pound. I mean obviously we understand this one. It's, let's take a value of one. So this is a one, this is a one, this is a one, this is a one. This is spinning a zillion times a second. The angular momentum of the spin is going to make that into about a billion pounds. When you get out here, it's sort of spinning this way, and it, it doesn't have the same energy. And this is exactly what we observe in the energy spectrum. Your tightly wound stuff like hydrogen is just just waiting to explode. And then you get out into your, um, uh, your, your distant energies, which are, are things that absorb the top end spectrums. They're way out from the electron. They're hitting something that's only spinning. Uh, it's spinning much less rapidly. So in other words, this is spinning a zillion times a second, still going 186,000 miles an hour. So it's going around here 186,000 miles. This is too. But this has like say 10,000 times more distance to go. So this would be 10,000 times more energetic in my mind. I don't know. That's why, the way I see it. And this is what appears to be because I, I, I study hydrogen and its explosive nature and shock shock and focus shock. Um, explosions in sinkholes and I have a video to show you on that at the end here and that'll show you the power of hydrogen but anyway as these things go out they don't go out in like one little dot the dot goes out but it's going in a circular pattern like this so here's your here's your negatively charged particle let's say it's an electron when this leaves the surface and goes out it's spinning in a vortex you know, it's going straight from the point of emission, and it goes out and it spins in a vortex. So here's your little tip, swish, 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 and it's going out like that. And they're bigger ones or smaller ones, depending upon what light you're you're emitting. The lasers are, are very singular; they're all going to be this. Some other light would be like this. Anyway, the double slit experiment is exactly in the single slit. They, you have exactly what would happen as this thing approaches. If it hits the slit, it goes in there, and if it catches going this direction, it would go off to that side. And if it caught on this type of a direction, it would go off that side. It's just obvious. If it caught in this type of direction, it would go right down the center. And the tighter they are together, the more white you get in the back. And in this regular sunlight, you get rainbows. And, and it's ex exactly what you would expect. So anyway, I have another video about this, but this is just a quick introduction to this. And this is what you get. These are the wavelengths. And so, in other words, here's your wave, and there's your particle. That's all I can tell you. There's the wave, there's the particle. Some waves are, woo, that's the frequency. They get shorter, they get shorter, they get shorter until you get into that really, really high power. It just makes sense to me. Somebody's got to figure out the the uh, numbers and so forth to see if it makes sense, but it, it, it's exactly what you observe and it's exactly what I expect in my mind, but that's just my mind.